Welcome, Christine. You're the network convener for uh, Network 22, Research in Higher Education. I can imagine that's a huge area for research. So can you tell me, what, what do you think is the main idea that brings people to your network? The Higher Education Network, the Research in Higher Education, is, is a very broad network, as you, as you said, because we are not uh, referring to any sp specific educational theme, but we are referring to a sector, so higher education sector, and that's of course a very broad and very wide uh, sector, and within the network there, there's a huge number of themes which are relevant, like uh, diversity, uh, like um, employability, uh, teaching and learning, uh, didactics, so it's like a huge amount of, uh, of uh, themes, internationalization of higher education. We actually, within the network, we distinguish six different uh, thought themes. Uh, management and governance okay. of higher education is one of them. Uh, diversity and inclusion is, the, is another one, as I already mentioned, the teaching and learning. That's, that's of course uh, very important. And then internationalization. Uh, that's a full, and then you have uh, like um, professional development, and that's the fifth. That's a big thing so in itself. Yeah. That's it, yeah. So so many of the themes are are uh, with, within the higher education research network are themes by themselves, but they are also represented in in many of the other networks. So in that way, we have close connections with with, with many of the other networks. Yeah, we do. So um, so what makes your network unique amongst them? I think. Yeah, that, that sounds probably a little paradoxical, but its broadness, I think, makes it also unique. And, and what I also find intriguing about the network is that uh, nearly all the people who, who, um, who participate in the network, who are active in it, are also work in higher education. So it's like they are like duly connected, you see. So, they, so they, they, uh, they're actually researching academic careers, but they're also, they also have their own academic careers. So that, that makes self-reflection uh, easy. And another uniqueness is, of course, uh, next to the broadness and the, the number of sub-themes is, is uh, the, the large number of papers, because we have like uh, two, uh, 200 uh, papers uh, a year. Uh, how does your network contribute to European educational research as opposed to national or yeah. local or university? Uh, our sessions allow, of course, for, for comparative research, like I'm combining, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up the programme, and, and then I try to combine uh, papers from uh, the similar themes, but from different countries. So I, I think in that way, like by allowing for uh, comparisons, is, is uh, contributing to the current state of uh, higher education research in, in Europe. But of course, well, you're already mentioning European theme, but we go much beyond Europe. I mean, we have many papers from outside Europe, uh, Australia, US, um, also from like the newer, the newer countries, uh, uh, Kazakhstan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, like that. We even had a paper from Greenland uh, last year. So. And of course, coming back to the European Educational Research Association, you know, yeah. there's a mission statement yeah, yeah, that they have. Yeah. How, how do you relate to that mission statement? It's a very broad mission statement. Yeah, well, again, the network is also very broad. So I think we, we, we contribute in terms of research, but we also uh, encourage, I mean, at, in a way we are also on a meta level contributing, because all the, all the era researchers are working in higher education. Well, well maybe not all, but, but like a far, far ma ma majority is. So in, in that way, we are, I think we are contributing very closely. Is this something that your network's done which you're particularly proud of? You can look back as if that was good. I think what, what, what I really like about the network, that as again I said it's broad, but that also that all these, this variety of themes is so well represented. And what I also try to encourage is that uh, 
of course, I am the link convener, but I'm doing this together with a whole group of what we call co-conveners. And what I try to do is have as many uh, countries represented in this co-conveners uh, group. So, and, and that group has been growing uh, quite uh, uh, quite quickly. So I'm, I'm quite proud of that. Yeah. And, and what I also really like about the group is that uh, so many people are willing to contribute to it. Yeah, and in that way we, we're really starting to work as a, as a network. Yeah. And there's a collective network, not just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 only, I have only a small role, like keeping it all together. So. That's quite a big role. <laughs> That's quite a big role. So uh, is your network co connected to other groups and associations? Yeah, yes. Um, there are a few uh, associations who emphasize only on higher education sector, like the SHRAE and the AIR, and, the, and the, there are a few more, like these abbreviations. Uh, so, so we're closely connected to those. Um, yeah, and of course we are also connected to our national uh, educational organizations. Yeah. Tell me, what do you like about the ECR conference? Um, what I like about it is that, that de despite the broadness and despite the, the size, you can always find the specific topics which are most closely to your own interest and to your own research uh, speciality. Because of course, uh, although the, the network is broad, everybody has its own interest and its own um, specialization. And these are often, part, for some people, are very, very focused. But, but because yeah, it's, you, you could see it like as a as a as a buffet with all the tastes and varieties uh, represented. So that that's what I really like about it. That's in terms of content and in terms of um, yeah, the, the atmosphere is often very positive and very yeah yeah very friendly. It's it's very relaxed. And that that's what what I enjoy as well. Christine. Good luck with this year's conference yes, and thank much. you very much for talking to us today. Yeah.